there is no one diet formula which can boost or support your immunity during covid time but there are certain lifestyle factors which can make a huge impact on your health and immunity first and foremost is sleep sleep deprivation is one very strong factor which can affect your immunity or boost your immunity so make sure you get 7 to 8 hours sleep every day second and very important lifestyle factor is protein intake of your diet it's not a diet but the protein which you can have in your three major meals which is breakfast lunch and dinner make sure that sufficient amount of protein are there in all the three meals third is making sure that vital vitamins are not deficient in your body especially iron and vitamin d b12 also to a certain level and the last one is your gut health make sure your gut is in good condition that means it is able to absorb the nutrients from your gut so prime your gut health by taking probiotic food like yogurt yakult etc i believe nutraceutical treatment or certain vitamins play a major role in fighting covid or reducing the infection or like making covid go to the next stage which is the lung infection stage how can we prevent is of course there are vitamins which we truly believe in first and very important one is vitamin d vitamin d is naturally present in milk egg mushrooms and liver of an animal and we also get it from sun so when the sun rays fall on our skin it converts into vitamin d but still all of us are deficient because all of us are city dwellers and the, because of the pollution rate we are not getting enough vitamin d in our system it prevents the respiratory tract infections it's very important to have good levels of vitamin d next important one is vitamin c Vitamin C is an antioxidant. We naturally get it from fruits like oranges, guava. It is also there in amla. But we need a higher dose of vitamin C. That's why you need to supplement yourself with it. Vitamin C helps in reducing the cytokine storm, which is the severe immune response during COVID. Zinc is a mineral which has antiviral properties. It prevents the development of cough and cold. and at the same time it can also reduce the duration of cough and cold it is naturally present in many food products like grains beans nuts and seeds eggs milk and meats but we might need an extra dose of zinc if you want to prevent or cure covid so that's why it has taken such a prominence next one is melatonin it's a very commonly prescribed vitamin for sleep during covid time since we are all locked up at home our screen time has increased a lot whether it's tv whether it's laptop whether it's phone it is disturbing our melatonin which is affecting our sleep pattern so it is prescribed very largely due to the sleep deprivation of or sleep disturbances people are facing but it has other properties too it is an antioxidant it is anti inflammatory also it is cytoprotective Additionally it is neuroprotective too it has too many benefits and i believe that 3 mg to 5 mg of melatonin natural sources of melatonin are nuts milk and goji berries last one but not the least is glutathione a lot of people don't know about glutathione but it is a super antioxidant and it reduces the cytokine storm so 500 mg per day is a good supplement to be taken there are lot of kada recipes which are floating more than the kada i believe that everyone should steam if you are wanting to pre- prevent getting covid steam at least once or twice in a day and do gargling at least once or twice in a day so one kada which i believe in is which i'm going to share the recipe with you is take 300 ml of water crush four peppercorns black peppercorns 10 tulsi leaves you can crush the tulsi leaves slightly grate half a an inch of ginger and a pinch of cinnamon or a cinnamon stick a small cinnamon stick boil it together boil it to half then add 2 teaspoon of honey and sip it like a cup of tea at least once a day people with comorbidities like diabetes and blood pressure for them the most important food group is protein they have to make sure that the diabetics have protein for three major meals breakfast lunch and dinner it can be in form of curd paneer pulses chicken fish eggs anything but it should be present 
for breakfast lunch and dinner for people with blood pressure of course the proteins must be there but they should also have yogurt at least twice in a day the presence of calcium in yogurt helps them to decrease their pressure levels but at the same time both diabetics and people suffering from blood pressure should check their vitamin d3 levels because sufficiency of vitamin d3 is extremely important to control their condition for diabetics we have a thumb rule of 2 teaspoon of sugar but of course avoid everything else like dessert ice cream cold drink chocolates fried papad and potatoes they can enjoy their little bit sugar in their tea coffees but of course avoid these things for people with blood pressure they should definitely avoid pickles papads chinese food because they're laden with soy sauce which is very high in sodium but they can of course enjoy normal salt in their regular food avoid adding salt on table if you are in home treatment for covid besides the medication which your doctor has prescribed which you must take there are certain nutrition tips which can enhance or help you to recover from covid faster first and foremost is hydrate hydration is extremely important hydrate hydrate and hydrate so the certain hydration drinks which we recommend is nimbu pani with sugar and salt coconut water very thin buttermilk at least two glasses in a day soups juices any form of any of these is good between every major meals make sure you have one hydration drink so five to six you should cover in a day even moong pani is great to have to boost your immunity next one is eat balanced meals that means must have certain amount of protein for breakfast lunch and dinner in your meals because antibodies are what made from protein so if if you have enough protein in your diet your body is ready to fight the infection better keep your meals light so like you know have farani khichdi rice dal khichdi curd rice paneer toasty which are light on your stomach so keep your meals very light next one is certain home remedies can of course help you like kara recipe which i spoke about hot water with pinch of haldi or turmeric is very good to have then warm water with lime and honey is an excellent concoction then if your cough is bad having shitopladi churan which is half teaspoon of shitopladi churan mixed with 2 teaspoon of honey having it first thing in the morning followed with a cup of tea or coffee or milk will do you really good for your cough subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon